Good morning and welcome back to God's Club on this Sunday, October 18th, 2020. Does my background look a little bit different today? Well, that's because I'm back here in my church office surrounded by so many of my favorite things, like my artwork on the walls that my McFirst kids have drawn for me over the years. So while I was getting ready for my God's Club lesson this morning, of course, I was reading in my deep blue Bible, and I was reading this conversation between Moses and God that takes place in Exodus chapter 33 and starts with verse 12. And in this scripture, Moses is having this conversation with God. And as I was reading it, it sounded a lot to me like he was having a conversation on the phone. Because when you have a conversation with somebody on the phone, you can hear that person and you can talk to that person. But I can't see the person I'm talking to. I can't see their face on this thing. I mean, maybe on my cell phone if I were FaceTiming, but not on this phone, I can't. And that's what the conversation between Moses and God reminded me of. Because in this Bible verse, Moses is pleading with God. That's what the Bible says. When you think of pleading with somebody, you're going, please, please, please do what I asked. And that's what Moses is doing. He's talking to God and he says to God, look, you've been telling me, lead these people forward. But you haven't told me who you're going to send to help me. You've assured me that you know me by name and you love me. Now, if you think that highly of me, would you show yourself to me? Show me your ways so that I may know you and know that you really approve of me. And the Lord replied, I will go myself and I will help you. Well, that's interesting. So Moses was begging God for help. And he was begging God to make himself known so that Moses would know he was really hearing God and doing the right thing that God had asked him to do. And so God's answer was, I will be the one to help you and I will be there. So that got me wondering, kind of got me thinking about things in our lives that make us feel comfortable and secure and safe, like a favorite blanket? Do you have a stuffed animal or a blankie at home? That's what I called mine. It was a blankie when I was little. And I had to cuddle with it every night or I couldn't go to sleep because blankie's job was making me feel secure and comfortable and safe. And did you know that that's God's job too? God keeps us safe. And God gives us security, just like our favorite blanket. We believe that God is present everywhere. He's here on earth and he's in heaven. But there are still times that we call out to God, just like Moses did. Even though we know in our heads and we know in our hearts that God is there, we might still say, but God, I need to know it's you. Show yourself to me. Well, when God speaks to us or gives us guidance or direction, he does talk directly to us. Just like if I picked up a phone and it was for me. God might call out, hey, Miss Trish, and he's talking to me. But it's not going to sound like a phone call, and I'm not going to answer him like I'd answer the phone. Do I? Sometimes when we talk about God giving us guidance and direction, we refer to that as God calling us, just like on a phone. I mean, that's what it sounds like, right? Or maybe it's like when mom calls outside for you to come in for supper. Come in! That's probably not how God calls us either. When God calls you, how do you know that it's God? Well, 
Sometimes you'll hear ministers or pastors or even Sunday school teachers talk about the time that they felt called or they felt led and God reached out to them and they just knew that God was telling them something. But it's not always that easy. Sometimes it's just a feeling that you have. Sometimes it's a warm feeling when you know in your heart that you need to do something. You need to do something right, or you need to be kind, or you need to show love. God has called others to show the love of Jesus. And did you know that God calls you and he calls me and he calls everyone who loves him to serve him? And the way that we serve God is to serve others. God has called you and God has called me and God has called Pastor Nancy and Mr. Joe and everybody you know who loves God has been called to love God by serving God, by serving others. God loves each of us like God loves all of us. Did that make any sense? It means that God loves each of us as exactly who we are, as unique as our name is. God loves us exactly how we are. And yet, he loves us all exactly the same. He knows us each by name. And God's call to us will come to us in a way that we might not expect. God might ask us to do something we don't think we can do, just like Moses. Each person's call will be different. And sometimes it might be hard to hear God's voice speaking to us. That's when it's helpful to have someone point out that God may be speaking to you. You can talk to me, or you can talk to Pastor Nancy, or your mom, or your dad, or your grandma, or somebody that you love at church. And you can have, have them help you figure out if maybe it's God talking to you. Did you know that God is calling you? Did you know you can answer that call? Do you want to know how you can answer the call when God calls you? It's really easy. All you have to do is love him. All you have to do is love others. When you answer God's call, you will love others the way Jesus loved them. There's many, many ways to show our love for others and serve others. And when we love others and we serve others, we are loving and serving God. What are some different ways that you can serve? You could help out at church. You could color a picture and send it to somebody that might need cheering up. Maybe you and your family want to volunteer at the soup kitchen. You could be kind to a neighbor. You might help a friend at school that's having trouble with their work. There's lots of ways that you can discover serving God and figuring out what's the right way for you. And that will bring the greatest joy you will ever have in your life. Let's pray together. Here I am, God. I know that you are calling me to love you and to serve Jesus, no matter my age. Help me to hear your call and find ways of service and love that are right for me. In Jesus' precious and strong name, amen. Come back for God's Club again next week. Bye-bye.